Here's my transport for the day. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's so squint. So we party at Cow's Hall this morning. Morning, Morning, Holly. What a beast. Big breakdown. It's a drill working there. Leaking trough, leaking pipe. It's exactly what we didn't need. Don't really have time to fix this, but we can't leave it leaking. And I know my wellies leak. Brilliant. I made a quick attempt at fixing it just by feel under the water. So that's going to turn it on again and see what happens. It's on again. Tanks filling up. It's not pouring out anyway. It could still be dripping away, but I'll take that for now just to keep us going. It could still well be dripping, but that's going to have to do for now. We've not got time to properly fix it. And we need to come in on the forklift, dig a trench again to take this water away. We'll need to, when we get the time, build up this whole area a bit. Um, we'll gravel, pack it all in, so this is raised above this whole level. Because they're just, over time, they're just as they've stepped in here and it dug it away dug it away and it's just kind of a bit of a hole in here now but i'll have to do i think a calf must have gone in behind there and kind of pushed this pipe so the wellies didn't leak though i had to go and load cattle six going away you can't see my thumb i'm holding up another one trailer's already on dad put it on last night a wee bit of paperwork to fill in delivery declaration fill it in while we're on the road cattle today so there's seven left on the far side ideally would have been six taking six away today and then we'll swing these ones around into that pen there and the calves will go in there in about four or five weeks First load in, open the gate again. So we head to into Paris, which is about 20 minutes from here. Drop them off, come back for another three. Here comes Kev, heading out, out to the oats this morning. We are the people who are getting in the way of the combine this time. <laughs> They're heading to a field of oats, and there's a bail, uh, load of straw to load as well before that. And they'll start about 10 o'clock. So back at home, just had a swap with Dad. So I'm going to take these cattle into ABP and he's going to go and quickly fiddle with the grain dryer and then on the way back, I'll pick him up again and we'll load the next three. Been sat here at the abattoir for 20 minutes. Still no action. <sighs> We're loaded up for another three. There's a wee fiery one in there. And then there's one left in the pen there, so we'll need to swing the others round. Don't want to leave a single on their own, they can go a bit daft. So these guys, that's just going to open that gate over there. I'll open this one. Swing them all the way around the outside in that gate so that the single one, which you can just see through the gap there, is not on its own. There you go. Come on, come on. On you go, bandits. On you go. There you go. Swap in there, Dad's going to take that load into the ABP. I'm going to go and jump in that tractor. I need to tip the trailer, which is full of rape here down in the bottom shed. Also, I need to grab a bit of food and drink. I need to talk to the girl who's here about the sunflowers to do a few things today. Then head along the road and start carting oilseed and um, oats. Flipping heck. Just been raking through the grass for 20 minutes or 10 minutes. Girl in the shop's lost her engagement ring. I'm a shocker. Hopefully, it turns up. Anyway, here's my transport for the day. Dump that load in there. That's all the rape in here for now. We're here now. Dunks up there and away in the distance. Just chopping all the straw. Don't usually bail out straw unless straw prices are really, really high, uh, which they're not. So we'll just chop it all, uh, put it back into the ground, adds a, a bit, bit of structure to the soil as well, as, well as a wee bit of nutrition. 
This field's right next to his school. So you always wind up with a few footballs. Unfortunately, this one's burst. It's for the bin. Double decker out of 10. There's a wee deer. Let's call it a baby deer. Um, That's my first load of oats in there. Kevin already dumped one load, so it's just filling. It'll need another kind of 15 minutes of filling, and then that'll be on the first batch of oats ready to go. There's a wee bit of rape still to clear. Dad will get that done. I hope before the oats start coming out. Dad cleaned out the dryer, just the bottom of conveyors uh, and elevators and whatnot, um, because it's a seed crop. So he forgot to put two of the slides in down here. So I'll just make sure they're in before it starts. So these sliders here, there's two plates here, here, one over there, and they just control the amount of crop that comes from the discharge and drops into this elevator that goes up the hill. Um, so I'll just pu push them back into where they're meant to be so they only let out a specific amount of crop. Those slides, just so it doesn't overload the conveyor below, so it doesn't pile up and choke, just lets out a continuous amount slow and steady all these conveyors and elevators and whatnot just like a nice continuous flow nothing too heavy and aggressive otherwise they start to choke and you can block them and it can become a bit of a bit of a nightmare to unblock sometimes worked out a wee chunk of the field there's still quite a lot quite a big field was it 60 it's 64 acres so we should get it done by tonight we start at 10. It does go pretty nippy when you want it to. It doesn't go like that through the crop though. Lulu's hearing all the kids out at playtime in the school. She doesn't know what it is. Hey. We'll be over halfway now, just. The slim chance of hitting the 3,000 before the end of harvest is possible, but that would take well, everyone who watches, if they subscribed, would be at 3,000. So if you can, subscribe, try and get to 3,000 before the end of harvest, or before the end of the harvest video comes out, because that'll be three or four days before, or after we actually finish harvest, I'll give myself those three days. It would be a massive shift if we actually got to 3,000. I think that's extremely optimistic, even 2.5 is optimistic. But Ah, why not? She really enjoys being in the tractor, just stares out the window, looks at what's going on. Dad tested uh, a load not that long ago, but it's apparently coming in at 13.5%, which is fantastic. Shooting for 14. Perfect. Just ran through the dryer for like 15 minutes, just to mix up in case there was any wee wet spots, just doubted it was. Just give it a blast, and then it's out the other end, straight into the big shed. This uh, trailer fill will be significantly less dense than barley and wheat. Wheat being the most, barley and then, then the oats. Oats are quite light. If I'm right, I think oats are like mid 40s, low 40s grams per thousand grains, whereas barley is like mid 50s. Laurie arrived to pick up the wee balance of barley that was left. If you remember when the seed barley was going away, there's four ton left over and we were just going to chuck it in with the feed uh, but Dodd's seed who are taking it are, are obviously wanting it quite desperately you wouldn't normally get that four ton away but they've managed, they've got a kind of a leftover load somewhere else not too far from here so they're going to top off the trailer and uh, with our four ton and uh, take it away down to Haddington Today's question of the day is the altitude change from the top of this field to the bottom of this field Currently 82.2 meters above sea level, and whatever we are down there. So I want to know the difference, the height difference between the bottom of the hill and the top of the hill. 
It's coming down. Find out tomorrow what the difference is. The best guess, the closest guess to the change in height from the top of the field to the bottom field. field. I'll weld their initials into the next project I weld. Coming in well, the oats. The oats bind up quite a bit on the reel. Dunk was saying there's a couple of different heights within the crop. Uh, so when he's coming kind of putting the reel down to pick up, to push in the smaller heights, the taller heights catch on and bind up. So we're nearing the end of the field. Maybe an hour and a half left, if that. We're just in the cab there with Dunk. So it's coming in at, well, Dad tested at 13.5, that's reading at 14, and we think that reads a fraction high, so that'll be right. Coming in at about 13.5 to 14% moisture, which is absolutely perfect. Neighbours combine just over the top of our combine. New Holland, yellow. All the neighbour neighbours are out with their combines today. I think I've seen one, two, three, four, four at least, five including ours, between here and home, which is five miles. I might only have the one load left actually. Um, we'll see how we get on when we get around, but that's another load dumped. Sorry, Kev. Dunk definitely left that on slightly longer than usual. Anyway, almost done. This is my this is my last load. I'll get a bit off of here, then Kevin will be able to finish the rest. And that'll be this field wiped out. 65 acres. Tick done in the shed. Then we need to tomorrow we've got another field of this to cut. Um of winter oats seed. And uh, not as big a field, it's quite a small one actually. And then we'll go and do a wee bit of barley tomorrow afternoon. There's a wee field to do and that'll help clean out the combine before we then go to barley seed. I've definitely not been spilling any today. That's uh, that, that, I don't know what, the birds must have put that there. And we're off, done. Field well for me anyway, done. No idea what's happening with the combine, uh, whether it's just getting shifted tonight back along to yard number two. This is yard four uh, where we need to get uh, more Oats cut tomorrow. <laughs> Last load in the pit tonight. Kev will just bring his along in the morning. Just head home, put his trailer in the yard at his. Now to go and start dealing with more bales up at the sunflowers. They're coming. Yellow, 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 it's yellow. There's another one there. So we're combining tomorrow, Thursday. We're now combining. Friday because the rain's coming on the weekend. Don't know when I'm gonna do all this. We'll get it done though. Saturday opening time. Dad's just loaded up that big trailer and the wee trailer and he'll dump them down the big new shed. That's the way we're moving stuff at the moment. If we've got trailers kicking about, use the trailers. Uh, if not, just use the bucket. Uh, conveyor system hopefully next year from the dryer to the new shed. We've lined it up perfectly with the central uh, conveyor and the dryer to the apex of the roof. Stuff to shift into here, uh, oats. Uh, oats still in the pit to dry. I'm gonna grab some wood chips with a bucket here, put them out to the sunflower maze before all light is gone. Uh, it's about half nine now. Get a fair bit done still. Um, I think the dryer, the dryer will be going all night. Uh, we're cutting tomorrow and the day after, and if it's dry, the day after that as well. So we'll just keep things going all night. Right, I've just welded this wheel back on so I can put it back on the quad. It wound up being squint, but I did it in the dark, and it doesn't matter as long as it works. It's so squint. I want to basically get these out, and all the wood chips that we need out in the maze already out tonight and done. And then that'll be one job, or a couple of jobs, ticked off. Out of the sunflowers, and I'm one, one bale short of these wee ones. Ugh. Anyway, put out what I've got. Fill the trailer up here. You can't see a thing. Fill the trailer up with wood chips, take it out, dump it a bit out there and spread it. Hopefully one trailer will fill it. If the wood chips are all patchy, it's because it's dark. Don't blame me. This section's done. 
head back in when the trailer the trailer's <laughs> empty. It's working the wheels and it's squint but it's staying on. Just gonna put this push this pile up once more forehead up to the house. There's some coming off now. I've walked past the park but about half ten, need to come down once more to fill up that pit, possibly shift that pile out of the road as well. That'll be in another half hour, 40, nah, no, more than that. Maybe an hour, maybe an hour. Right, that'll do. Thanks for watching. Adios.